Welcome to Grammars and Parse Trees. So what makes a good programming language? A grammar is going to be what is the syntax and semantics, which I'll explain here in a little bit, of how a programming language looks to get what you want done. So in a programming language, you've been introduced a lot in the last few years with new programming languages to you, but Pretend you're given another language that you've never heard of before that you're going to use for a project. So what are you hoping that that programming language will have? You're hoping that, number one, I would say that's used pretty widely because then you have more support for it. And what does support mean for a language? Well, number one, it's updated, has a lot of documentation, there's a lot of people that use it, exercises. Uh, examples, you know, maybe some training on YouTube or whatever for it. You're hoping for all these things that make it a good language. And I'll be honest, in my professional career, especially when I was doing robotics, I had some languages that really weren't used all that much. So I really had to dig for something. And there were some projects that just we had to turn off and move on to something else because the language that we were given for that particular project just was not very well supported. And we had issues and it really makes a difference on the language that you want but think about all the things that you really want a language to have and that's going to be part of this now i haven't even gotten into the terms of do you want it to be object oriented do you want it to support lambda functions do you want it to support higher order functions that we've talked about before you know those are all the, the nice things about a programming language uh graphics you know c plus plus mm, java you can have graphics and at least windows and stuff like that these are all things you have to think about what makes a good programming language. And while we'll discuss it here in another part, another piece of this, we have to think about overall the grammar of this as well. It needs to be something that we can pick up rather quickly. And grammars is what we're going over here for this week.